What's up, everybody? Uh, Rob and JT here uh, for the, the new Rob Kimmons vlog. Uh, today, we're going to have another exciting topic. What is it, JT? Uh, three things to help the next generation of fighters. That's a good one. Okay, let's see. Um, all right, well, first of all, let me just say, you know, I, as the guy who I was the first sanctioned fight in Kansas City, MMA fight, I was also the first guy to go to the UFC, so a lot of the a lot of this stuff I kind of was just figuring out because there was, there was nobody, there was a couple guys before, you know, that were pros that I, I looked up to, but even they were both, they were all learning, yeah. you know, because yeah. the sport, occur. the sport was mm -hmm. so new back then. Um, so let's see. The first thing I would say is take care of your body. That'd be the first uh, advice I'd give. Um, you know, like using me as the example of what not to do. Back in the day, for one, I used to drink heavily all the time, uh, including the night before fights. You know, my first 16 fights I drank the night before. Wow. Insanity. I don't even understand how I did that stuff. And I won all those, amazingly. But, um, so definitely slow down on the drink and eat right. I never ate right, ever. Yeah. Um, sparring. Don't spar all the time, okay? And, and don't go like you're, you know, like it's a title fight in every single class. You know, that's that's one thing that we used to do all the time back in the early days of AJJ. Um, it was just like a war zone every time. It's a, just battles. 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 Yeah. And, and, you know, the deal is, is there's lasting effects for that stuff, you know? Um, they're finding out all this new information about NFL uh, players, you know, retired NFL players and their brain, the brain damage that they take from the hits. Well, these are guys that we're talking about wearing padding and, and, and helmets, you know. We don't have none of that stuff. So imagine when we're getting concussions from kicking each other and kneeing each other in the face in practice. So, so be, you know, be smart about that. Don't limit yourself to sparring maybe once or twice a week. And, and maybe only going hard once a month. Because you probably saw a lot of people get knocked out. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, I and, used to, and they you know, probably woke woke back up and went back at it. Which... Back back in the day, we used to, people used to get knocked out all the time in our practices at AJJ. I remember back in the day, knock being just being honest. I used to knock people out a lot because I and I thought that was good because I was stupid. I was a young kid and I was cocky, and uh, you know, I I was prideful. So I was looking for that victory in in practice. Well, actually, these are your brothers that are helping you get ready for Teammates, yeah. you know. You know, your real match and also take care of your hands this is all part of number one yeah. which is take care of your body because body. you know also back in those days I didn't know you were supposed to wrap hands my first 16 fights I didn't wrap my hands and that's why my hands kept getting broke you know it's like they're made of potato chips and just crunch up when I punch things so you know tape your hands if you don't know how to tape them learn to tape them YouTube's an amazing thing I thought I knew how to tape my hands once I finally started yeah. And then I got in the UFC, and I was like, wow, these guys know what they're doing. Yeah. So take care of your body. That's number one. Definitely help your career. Uh, your number two, take the right fights, okay? Um, I don't know how many times I see people that lose a couple of amateur fights or three amateur fights in a row, and then they're like, I'm turning pro. Well, they got all the, they got all the loses out. That's you know, they're like the... <laughs> That's right, I guess. <laughs> it, it boggles my mind. I don't understand... For one, you shouldn't turn pro on one loss even. I mean, it doesn't make sense. You know, go. You, it's all about momentum, man. It, look at the UFC. Who gets all the, the big fights? Guys that win in a row. You know, you string wins together, good things happen. And that's the same way that you get to the UFC. The UFC is not looking for journeymen. They're, they're looking for the next big star, someone that's possible to, to be the next, you know, Conor McGregor. So, so they're they're not looking for guys to go win, lose, win, lose. They want to win, 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 so they can put you in there. Okay. So, with that being said, win fights. How do you win fights? You got to train hard, but you also got to take smart fights. If it's your first couple fights, don't fight someone with thirty fights. That's stupid. You're setting yourself up for failure. Okay. Um, also, uh, if you if you do lose, because that's going to happen, unfortunately, sometimes in this sport. If you do lose. Don't take a super hard fight on the next fight, okay? Get back in there, uh, you know, shake off the cobwebs, 
Because a lot of times, especially, I know the first time I ever lost a fight, I, I was, you know, I'd already, I was 16 and 0 as an amateur, I already had several wins as a pro, and I, I finally lost. I thought I was the baddest man on the planet. Once I lost, I was rattled, and it was really tough for me to, you know, fight up to par, you know, what, what, how I normally did, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I, so it was a good thing that very next fight after that loss wasn't a world beater. Because I would have been in trouble, you know what I mean. Yeah. So that's that's my advice. Take smart fights. Uh, number three kind of goes along with number two, and it's surround yourself with good people. Okay, and that includes training partners, your gym, your manager, your coach, all that stuff. Okay, because you know if if you've got a, for instance, say you have a your coach gets paid um, to have you fight. Sometimes that's a conflict of interest because a lot of times I've seen this happen where coaches are getting paid something, you know, under the table. And so they just throw guys in to the wolves to get beat up so they can make a hundred, a hundred, couple hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. You know, that's crazy to me. And that's just, that's short-sighted thinking anyway. That's not smart coaching because um, then your team looks yeah. bad anyway. But, you know, make sure you got a coach that's actually looking out for, for – for you. Make sure you have teammates that actually care about you. If you have teammates that you train with, but then they're rooting against you when you fight. That's what I was going to bring up. Wow. Yeah. Those ain't the teammates for you, man. Mm -hmm. Iron sharpens iron. Everybody gets better when they train hard with each other and they care about each other. If you don't like each other, you're not going to train as good as if you care about each other. It's as simple as that. And a manager is another one, you know, because if you have a manager that all they're concerned with money which a, which a whole lot of them Hey, are. money changes people. For sure. They're going to set you up with stupid fights, okay? So be smart. Find somebody you can really trust. You know, maybe they're not even... Maybe they're just a friend that has nothing to do with fighting. It's very important to have at least one or two people, at least, that you can talk to, ask their honest opinion that will give you an honest opinion and an educated, you know, opinion of what you... You should do it. And you need to listen to that. Exactly. You need to listen to that opinion and not be, you know. Hey, as fighters, we always think we're going to win every fight. It's important to be smart about stuff, okay? Um, But, well, I think that's good for today. That was a... That's all you get. That's all you're getting right now, okay? Hey, that's three things that... Three pieces of advice that will help the next generation. Learn from my mistakes, okay? Uh, Rob Kimmons, at Rob Kimmons on Twitter. Uh, Rob Kimmons on Facebook. Perseverance MMA. On Facebook. Shoot us any questions, any topics you want to discuss. You can ask Rob. I'll chime in. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good day. Exactly.